let's discuss quickly the remnants uh, of the last live event because we've yes. not we've not congregated since then. We were in Madawaska. Uh, I th- the show was up on YouTube, right? Yeah, yeah. The show was up on YouTube, so some people got to see that. I had a good time. I thought it was a fun show. Um, wasn't a super content heavy show. It was just a live show. We were just dicking around. Yeah. So it ends, and um, Justin, I guess, went into. So I wake up the next morning, and like, there's this, this <laughs> you know, big Rick. Well, a couple of things. First of all, another hit job by that asshole reporter. <laughs> I know. Like, legitimately a hit job. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Talk about Aaron Andrews, and I'm like, this it's it's a, it was a hideously written piece and by a so hideous nice human being. Like, a, a, an absolutely awful person handed Caitlin this reporter. Every, exactly why I hate the media. I do this every time like a fucking idiot, whether it's uh, people at the Globe, whether it's that. Oh, can I? Now we're on YouTube. It's my first time. Yeah. Can I use that word? And, uh, fuck? No. The C word. Uh, that's a great yeah. part. Uh, I mean, maybe refrain a little bit, but let's see what happens. Right. That uh, cunt. Be your Thomas back pole. <laughs> refrain a little bit. Yeah, but yeah. That cunt. 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 <laughs> cunt. 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 From Boston Magazine. Steve Buckley, another asshole. And I always, they always, they always bring you, oh, I love the show. Oh, you're so interesting. Oh, how does that mind work? And oh, mm. you know, all that bullshit. What? You made another noise. I didn't say anything. Did you hear him? <laughs> I didn't hear that. No. Well, I might have been drinking. <laughs> I'm sure you have. <laughs> I want to find this story. What is it? Uh, Fiddlehead focus. Rick Manan. If I go to the news thing, it'll pop up here, right? Yeah. <laughs> And she, Fiddle- see, she seems so nice, and everyone was nice to her before this the show. Happens, this is what happens, Mike. This is what happens. Fiddlehead Focus, Barstool Sports Podcaster gets cold welcome in Madawaska following <laughs> online Ooh. controversy. Uh, when Barstool Sports Podcaster Kirk Minahan and his followers stormed into Madawaska on a war footing last weekend, <laughs> they found the other side hadn't shown up for battle. Yeah. I got to say, me and Justin felt pretty silly with our face paint on it <laughs> like, at about hour six. <laughs> <laughs> Like William Wallace. Are you ready, Tim Riggles? <laughs> <laughs> Madawaska Rob, my brother. Madawaska. We were stormed that we would, we would go over St. John's River, head that way, go through Jeff's for some food, get our bellies full, and make our way to, to the town. <laughs> We've got an army of shit-faced soldiers partying <laughs> with the other side. <laughs> we had a weird... Uh, war strategy we stuffed fucking money into your freaking town and left <laughs> drank with them yeah. <laughs> and shared just, stories yeah it just you know <laughs> holy shit like and like i'm fine with that as a like, joke but get remember she's writing this seriously right like you know she's you know purports to be a journalist she's a fucking awful journalist um the kirk minahan show followers the minah fans wandered main street in small groups saturday morning which is about accurate if you watch these people my brother ryan and i were driving around look at these idiots there's no one i hate more by the way on earth no one right now if you said to me who's the person on earth i hate the most who would you guess dave on earth uh just normally me right now maybe no me? no oh. if you're being if you someone went up to you we go and said who's kirkman and hate the most surely we on no nope can i get i and yep. i like this guy yep but can i guess madawaska rob no, no, okay, I, I, don't, right. I don't mind. All right, I didn't I know. Mind. I don't mind him. No, Kevin from Bristol. Oh, Ooh, okay. I knew yeah. it was someone like. He just that. rubs me the wrong way. <laughs> I like Kevin. <laughs> I, I should like Kevin. He's I saw him nice at the guy. show, and like I'm taking pictures of everyone as always. By the way, I saw the pictures. I look gross. I don't know what's going on with me. You look great. Yeah, I'm getting puffy as I get older. I'm getting a little weight. Yeah. Uh, right. A little yeah, bit. But do I look like you right now? So, do I look like it? So remember the tennis match? There was a picture of you. Yeah. And then the next day, you announced on Jerry's show that you went on the keto diet. And right. I thought you saw it. Is that, was that the impetus? I mean, look at me now. I look like I've actually gained no, you weight. Look, no, you look good. That's yeah. what I mean. It's weird. Do I photograph badly? Oh, yeah. Remember that, the picture with me and you and my wrist is like this? Have you seen that one before? Don't you remember? Where? Cameras these days. Camera. Which one? Well, from Jack's Abbey. No, I don't. Dave, I don't go through no, our I'm photographs. Just saying. Cameras, <laughs> cameras <laughs> malfunctions. I don't like it. Look at this one. Yeah. Kirk's I'm with his family. I'm losing his wrist in this. I'm dropping 15 pounds. Bottom line. Message received. Loud and clear. As In Excess once said. Um... We're, oh, so we're taking pictures and Kevin from Bristol puts, this is why I, I hate people. Uh, I'm thinking about banning him from soccer, by the way. Oh, no. Considering it. He brought his whole family last time. That's true, which is equally disturbing. <laughs> so he has his arm around me. He's like, you, you, it's a joke. Like, you really like me, right? <laughs> he didn't. He did. That. He did. <laughs> he did. He did. He did. He did. And I was like, no, I don't. <sighs> why can't he help himself? Because, <laughs> because. You're not either way. You're not going to give him the answer he wants, even if you right. do really like and him. And I, I understand he's a sweet guy. I right. do understand that. But like, just you know, and that hair dye is 
unbelievable. What do you mean? It's it's disgusting. His hair is like bleeding oil. Oh, he fools people like me. If that's the goal. Well, I think. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's incredible. He's able to do that. So, uh, oh, so anyway, I'm back to the story. Anyway, yeah, I hate him the most of anybody right now. So, uh, milling in the town's public parks and eating out at downtown restaurants that evening, the group of roughly 150 podcast fans gathered in a giant tent at Birch Point Beach and Long Lake for dinner and a live show, which I thought turned out pretty well. I would say so. The location was great, I thought. Yeah. You know, uh, people were bitching I saw about having to travel around, but that's life there. Like, there's no... Yeah, what can you really do? There's you nothing know? you can do. Like, even last year when we did it at... Uh, where was it last uh, year? Lakeview? Yeah, I mean, that's a 20-minute drive. Right. It's in a different town, technically. Isn't right, it? <laughs> yeah. But it's probably closer than we were from the hotel. The hotel was good, by the way. I was going to say, the only other option would be do, like doing it at the hotel or at that like gazebo right next to it or something. I know? guess. Yeah, I suppose. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> uh, the visit seemed like much... Uh, the, 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 here we go. This is, the, this is the big part, Mike. Uh, while the visit seemed much like any other tourist outing on the surface... The people of uh, Madawaska aren't pleased with the treatment they have received on the Kirk Minahan show. And Minahan's approach to this trip did nothing to assuage that sentiment. The main thing I would argue is, does it seem like any other tourist? Oh, absolutely. Of course. <laughs> Come on, gang. That behavior in that podcast is not socially acceptable in the place I grew up in, Selectman Dan Daigle said. Son of a bitch. Unbelievable. Just when we thought we had him in our pocket. Well, the next sentence would be, that behavior in that podcast is socially acceptable. I thought he was going to pull a Daigle on us, but he didn't. You can't badmouth a small French Acadian town and expect a warm welcome when you get here. Uh, and then she then she gets into like uh, Aaron Andrews and like all this stuff. And it's like Madawaska is by no means the first subject to recoil after finding itself on the receiving end of Minahan's uh -huh. blows. He's been a complicated figurehead of controversy. That's true. Fuck off. God, I hate stuff like that. Compl true. What is complicated? <laughs> You're a complicated guy. What is complicated about it? You love Madawaska, you hate Madawaska. <laughs> I know, you know? I did. <laughs> uh, the sports talk radio world for a decade. He was suspended five times by WEI. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think is true. I, I would think it was probably more. Let me think no? about that. Uh, Aaron Andrews. Yep. Fourier. The uh, Red Sox Red thing. Red Sox thing. Before people like knew, yeah. Um. Forgetting the other ones. There were other Do ones. they count like the last one where you kind of like held out? I was going to say that would yeah. that was be a suspension one. though. Yeah. yeah, There were a couple of other times where I got suspended for a day or two. I just don't remember why. I got in a fight with one of the program guys. Mark Hammond one time. Yeah, five times is probably. Yeah, sounds fair. I wonder whether she found that record though. She links to something. Maybe you can't think of it. <laughs> suspended five times. Oh, she, she links to a Washington Post story. Can sensitivity training save Boston sports radio from itself? That's a good question. Ugh. Uh, and so amazingly, so this this woman, Hannah Caitlin, who will work at the Globe one day or the Washington Post, she's clearly a big brain, a small brain, you know, liberal who hates me and hates Barstool and decides, you know, she's like a Marissa and Jimmy or Jamel Hill or, or one of those people who just want to take us down. Right. No problem. Right. Uh, you know, good luck to her. Um, so she talked to I, I talked to her for 10 or 15 minutes on the phone and then another 10 minutes at Madawaska. And I saw her talking to person after person in Ma and Minna fans before the live show. Yeah. Not one fan is quoted in this story. Really? That's surprising. Not one fan is quoted in this story. Instead, she talks to people like Jane Carter from Madawaska, who, my understanding, and I don't know this for a fact, mm -hmm. has recorded people uh, going to the bathroom. Really? Yeah. Without their knowledge? Yeah. Uh, what's wrong, Dave? Nothing. That's not good. Well, that's what I'm saying. Are you worried about the YouTube implications of that statement? No, I'm just worried. That's not a good move. You made a look on your face like you're concerned about this. No, I'm again, I, this is what sources. I could. I could. He's I, just I, so, so disgusted by that. Action. It could be wrong information, but I'm. I, I'm just saying that's what I've been told, and right. maybe she should right. investigate that. I, I could be. It could be a different Jane Carter. If it is, I apologize right. to Jane and her family. But she quotes Jane Carter like, "Oh, that boy. That does. That's not good that he, that he said this about this show or that." Meanwhile, you got Minna fans who love the town. I love the town, and you know it's like. Uh, uh, and then they got. Meanwhile, of course. People have pictures of her, like Sheldon. It's like, could, 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 could it be worse <laughs> examples of Minna fans? And then me, and I look, you know, I was like bloated in that picture. It's very annoying. I purposely took bad pictures. Uh, we pump more money into this freaking place. But so then I reach out to uh, 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 Anna Caitlin after. And I was like, boy, that is a really, like, good luck with everything. But I just want you to know you're a shitty journalist or whatever. You're a shitty piece of journalism. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, and she does what I have. I, when I tell you I have dealt with this with people in my career 30 times, I'm not lying. I've heard the same excuse every time. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, 
Hi, Kirk. I actually did include the number of quotes and anecdotes from the event, but my editor cut them because she felt the primary interest oh. in the conflict of the story was a response from townspeople to the show and that the quotes didn't add to it. I paraphrased about the relationship of the fans of the show. Uh, my original story was frankly about 500 words longer. So bullshit. There you go. Bullshit. I mean, you know, it's like, it's just not, I'm just not buying it. So, uh, what's so the, you, you think the editor is cutting material from the fiddlehead? What is it? The fiddlehead focus? <laughs> Certainly not online. I wouldn't think. I can't imagine. Maybe the physical paper, but there's no yeah. reason why she couldn't put the whole story online. Also like they would make a call. Like we're only going to remove quotes from <laughs> the minifans. Well, it's also like, you know, and so it gets to this to me, a better story if you write the, if you work for the fiddle, fiddlehead focus. Now I understand mine got read and it was the most read. Of course, I understand that. But you have a, a an owner of a of a, a a restaurant in town. Yes. Telling one of the customers on social media to wipe the cum off their chair <laughs> before deleting his account. Like that's a business owner in town. Is that not to me a better like if some guy who owns a business in your town loses his mind? Goes after customers and deletes his account. It's Isn't great. that a story? It's hilarious. Yeah, I mean, I think it's funny. I, don't, I can't know. imagine it happens that often in that town. And I, I, would, I feel like in Madawaska, he's not just a business owner. He's a big deal business oh, owner. Yeah. There can't be that many in that town. No, for sure not. I mean, I, I would think it's probably the biggest restaurant in town, right? I mean, certainly bar. There was like no yeah. other competing bar. Yeah, I don't think there is. Yeah. Yeah. So he goes. So I wake up on Monday, right? Mm -hmm. Or Sunday. Oh, no, Sunday, Sunday yeah. in Madawaska. I'm going for my run in town, and I see uh, uh, Twitter, Justin and Big Rick going after each other on Twitter. Do you have the deleted tweets, Dave, or no? <laughs> do I have them? Yeah, do no. we have them? Does no, Justin have them? Not on the screen. He might. Yeah, see if he... Okay. See if he uh, so, uh, so I wake up, and I, get, I, mean, I didn't love Mike's, like, you know... Uh, neither did I. That in, was, in hindsight, that was neither bad, do I. That was a bad moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't like that either. <laughs> You're like, like, hey, man. Fuck you. It's the biggest day of his life. Like, <laughs> first of all, that... Well, it was the big, like, he know, was very like, stressed, is what know, I'm saying. But like, you know, and it was a shithead move. Like, I, that I agree. I agree with. I shouldn't have tweeted it all. a little more fun with it, though. Yeah, yeah exactly, yeah, yeah. exactly. I shouldn't have tweeted anything. So, so Big Rick and Justin are going back and forth. I guess Justin went in and dumped some drink on the floor, whatever. I don't, I don't really understand why he did that, but okay, whatever. Well, they handed it, so they handed him a shot. Right. Like, and he didn't want to take it at first, and they kept trying to get him to I take it. I thought we have four mics, Dave, no? Sorry, I'm sorry, Mike. Uh, yeah, I can connect another one. Yeah. I thought we have, we don't. Oh, that one sucks, though, right? Uh, no, I'll get another one for him. Okay, I whatever. Okay, okay. Get, so, does do Justin have the deleted tweets? He's finding them right now. Just give him the Dave when you have him. Um, so, I wake up and I see Justin and, and Big Rick. And, of course, uh, uh, initially, like you always with this show, I'm like, that must be a parody account. You're right. It's not. It's it's him. Yeah. So, I look, and, you know. Um, and he's call, He's like, fuck you. You're a fucking loser. You're like, knock your teeth out. Knock your teeth out. <laughs> yeah. Do you have him, Dave? There we go. Legend, question mark. Another bullshit story. He would have left with his teeth on the ground. I wish you guys were as respectable as Kirk. Oh, that's a that's a good point. Oh, this guy. I mean, this guy. I talked to this guy on the phone. Oh, oh yeah. man. Well, I thought he, that was he funny put this way. He knows he knows how to, he knows how to get back in my good <laughs> graces. <laughs> I thought that was funny too because the reason he uh, pulled the catering was that you have disrespected him for the last time. Mike, don't get lost. Then, <laughs> Mike, you didn't hear Hold on, let me read this. Can I finish the tweet? <laughs> yeah, he tells it like it is. That's referring to you. Yeah. And Kirk. That's so when I called him a, would I call him a pussy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, I, I, among I, other things. I was right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, you trying. tell it like it is. Oh, thank you. He tells it like it is, but doesn't fucking lie. Your mini fans are legends in this story. Mm, we lost the next one, but. Oh, well, one yeah. point he says he's going to wipe the cum off somebody's chin. I saw that. <laughs> yes. So, uh, so they're going back and forth, and you know, if the fans like don't mind, if they want to go to Rick's and spend their money, go for it. I will say, like he did fucking pull out like two days before, right? But that's after we had went on the show. We called Jeffs. We did all that. So it's like I, I actually understand where he's coming from to some extent. Yeah, but so I thought it was really cunty to text Justin after the event was done. And say, hey, the Minna fans are welcome here. It's like, oh, are they welcome now? Thanks, Rick. That's awesome. Right, right, right. You know, like we don't need you anymore. Right, <laughs> so you're basically right. just gloating. So he calls me on Tuesday or Wednesday and was like super apologetic and said he screwed. He did say he screwed up. And then what happened again? He was talking about how great the fans were. And he came back a day early. I, I, like I couldn't get the guy off the phone fast. I was just yapping away. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, all right, well, it's fine. We'll figure it out. I, I, I don't really care. But, you know, I, I, I thought about over the last couple of weeks, I'm like, God, do we want to go back to Madawaska? Do we want to, want to try somewhere new? I don't know. I, I don't know that. Yeah. Well, your logic was that they 
hate you. Right. And I don't think that's changed. So that's true. Yeah, the Jane Carters and the Hannah Caitlins and right, the uh, Jane and, Carters. And the uh and the uh uh, uh Big Dan Ricks. Daigle. Yeah. Well, Big Rick loves me. Well, you're right. I forget. I'm but you sorry. know you know wherever you go, they're gonna hate you. Like they're gonna find something to hate you about. Right? In a small town, they're gonna find something. It's I so disru- it's Taco so disruptive. Hasn't. It's not that disruptive. Uh, it's, right there. It's not this, do you think it's disruptive, Mike? We go in. I can't. No. The, I, I, like the, the, You're going to find a way to shit talk them on well, your sure. podcast. Well, that's yeah. true. So but they can't handle it, words. It's well, disruptive in the sense that like Jeff's is, has business all at once for the first time. I'm right. guessing, you know. Well, I mean, the woman who owns the uh, uh, or runs the Inn of Acadia. Yeah. Um, I don't know her name. She I, was I super nice. Very yeah. nice. And, you know, was so grateful and, and Jeff's and, and Big Rick's and uh, uh, the caterer and, you know, what, what we, the golf course and all this shit. We go in, they go in, the men of fans are, are, are psychos, but they're really nice, they're polite, they go, they're thankful, they're grateful, they leave. It's like, it's bizarre that, I, I don't know, like, you know, the, the assholes of the world, the Jane Carters of the world, we'll never <laughs> right. understand that. Well, you figure if everyone, if every minute fan there only spent $100, which is a very low estimate because the hotel was no way, like 125 yeah. a night or something, well, let's just say $100, that's $15,000. Pumped, pumped into the, there's pumped into the people, economy. So it's more. Yeah. Oh, oh 100 bucks, right. You're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, and it's it's at least I would say, if you average everybody three hundred bucks. A oh, yeah, I mean the hotel is one hundred twenty five a night, right. or something and like just that. the booze and the food and just gas and just stuff. Yeah, 